Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh Maipati from Nareshai Technologies. In this video, let us have discussion on one method, descending iterator, which is available from DQ. Before discussing this descending iterator method, let us see the hierarchy of DQ. If you see the hierarchy, DQ is an interface which is extended from Q, one interface. Q is extended from collection one interface collection is extended from one interface iterable this dq has two implementations one is linked list one is array dq linked list and array dq are the implementation classes of dq let us see the methods of dq if you see the methods of dq here interface java.util.dq extends from java.util.q this dq is providing one method known as descending iterator in today's video let us have discussion on this descending iterator descending iterator method signature if you see if you see the method signature descending iterator descending iterator method return type is iterator so what is happening descending iterator method internally creates one implementation object of iterator that implementation object of iterator will hold the reference of dq object so dq object means dq implemented object that may be linked list object or that may be array dq object so in this example now this small program i am taking one user defined class known as book which is having two instance variables name and author i am going to initialize the data for this instance variables using constructor whatever the data available in the instance variables i am trying to display by using one method as a two string now in the main program here test program i am creating one array dq which is going to hold book objects this array dq is going to hold unlimited book objects i am adding three books example c language some core java indirectly and one is effective java roughly i took three books here i shown the representation in the diagram also here if I am adding three books to the array DQ, I am adding three books to array DQ. You can see this diagram where three books are added to array DQ. I want to display this book details from this array DQ object. For that, I am using descending iterator method. I am using whenever I say ad not descending iterator method this descending iterator method will create implementation for iterator while creating implementation for iterator this iterator object is going to hold reference of array dq object and this iterator has four methods one is as next method one is next method one is remove method one is for each remaining method this for each remaining method parameter is java.util.function.consumer so consumer is one functional interface providing one abstract method known as accept so whenever we pass one lambda expression as parameter to for each remaining method the accept method is going to run internal to for each remaining method so in this process why what i am trying to say here whenever i use descending iterator method to create implementation of iterator one cursor is created after the last element you can see the diagram i created one cursor here so whenever i run the program now the cursor will be moving in the backward direction the cursor will move the cursor moves in backward direction when the cursor moves in backward direction the elements are displayed in the backward means in your display you can see first book displayed is effective java second book displayed is core java third book displayed is c language so we are trying to display the books from back to means 
uh, in a backward direction we are going to display descending iterator will create one cursor in the back after the last element so thank you very much